Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50, first round match between Contagious E and Poncho DLV. Um, Contagious with Necro, Poncho with Amazons. In the booth with me is not Skuro like the picture implies, but Fymir. Hello Fymir. Hello everybody and here we have an interesting game, Necro vs Sons. And this is interesting game is dedicated to our viewers in Egypt. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, they have uh, some issues in the past, but now recently haven't heard anything from there, so I think this is a good one. <laughs> and the national dish is the koshari, and they use the Egyptian pound. Ah, there you go. <laughs> and yeah, so let's have a look at the teams. We've got Poncho, he's got Amazon, so of course they will never win Chalice. He's got a wizard, he's got a babe, he's got a bunch of guard, uh, strength up and some mighty blown some tackles so it's a pretty decent team 13 players but uh contagious ease team i think is really really nice well it's it's pretty nice it's nearly really nice he's got the two blodge tackle wolves one with mighty blow this guy's nearly skilled this guy's nearly skilled so if they're both skill yeah and they have uh he has the ball carrier uh on the reserve ag4 uh blood sure hands yeah really nice and two strength ups. There are also like so over the course of the tournament, this this team could get a lot better, right? This guy could go to thirty one. This guy could go to thirty one. This guy could get a skill. This guy could get a skill. Oh, he's edge two. All right, that's a bit crap. No, that's actually a lot worse. Okay. Never oh mind. yes, can do the classic uh, necro play there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, but then, you know, like, their mobility is a big part of them, isn't it? Like, and I know that a lot of the times it's a one in nine that they fail, but now making that a one in four is a lot worse. So. Oh god, I just, I just hiccuped. It was really bad. It destroyed me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Amazon's trying to set up some space on the. Right side, I say it's very early to that commitment. Yeah, it was. It was brutal. Um, yes, hello, Igrelius. Yeah, the thrown rock was disgusting, wasn't it? But uh, Perivale thought about banging it in early, and I guess that was maybe something to think about, right? Like if you leave, if you leave Chunt with three turns or four turns to score, yes. and you know also, five players, and with against a whiz, like you know, lots of things could have happened, right? I don't like uh, leaving people, you know, the one turn uh, chance just because you feel so powerless, you know, when uh, versus a one turn, you just set up and pray. Meanwhile, if you give them a few turns, at least you can do something, you know, even if it's not the best strategic option, at least you, you have some control, you know, about what's going on on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think I didn't think of it at all. Like Paravale said it, I believe, and then uh, and then Skuro said it, and then, but I haven't thought of it. But yeah, I mean, we are talking about another game, the game at the Chanter versus uh, Underworld that you'll have to watch in the YouTube. Yes, <laughs> yes, thanks, Fami. <Jaime. laughs> yes, there was absolutely no controversy at all happening in anything related during the game, or not related to the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair enough for Grimmies, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. It just he was pretty likely to score the long turn, wasn't he? Probably. Yeah, I guess you can set up against the long turn. Depending on how many players he's got, right? Depending on how many players he's got, you still set up against the long turn. But But if he one turns you know, with turns left, you are also giving the other team their chance of the one turn. So it's like a cold war of one turns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then he's got to score two one turns, which is a lot less likely than scoring one. So... Yeah, but with five players, he couldn't take it for that free, could he, with a wizard? You know, like, it was interesting. It was. It, I don't think it was as cut and dried as you think. And it definitely wasn't as cut and dried as I thought, because I didn't consider it until Paravale said it. So... Um, I think it was something it was something that I think it would be hard to make the kind of the decision in game right especially because it's even hard like it's even harder when you're in game than when you're watching and stuff as well right so like 
you know, yeah, it's still bad, yeah, but I think it's shit anyway, right? Giving him the one turn chance is also shit, although he got super lucky to get the rock. And super lucky to get the push. Not super lucky to get the pushes, but like, you know, and he, he got a nice, he got a super nice kick so that he could hand it off and and fill the square. Like it was, it really did really work out really well for Chunter, but um, it really wasn't that hard for him, was it? I mean, this is how we play. We don't have that much time. Yeah, sorry, but I mean, this is just nothing happening. No, he's going really up the is, side. Yeah. He's going up the side. Um, <laughs> I think it's much more interesting to talk about like because that last match was like that was really interesting to me it was really interesting because I didn't think of it that was the, that's why it's interesting to me I guess you know no no it's really interesting there's a big uh, there, oh there you go because there's a big debate you know in those kind of situations hmm. you risk the one turn or you risk the you know being able to counter the score in case he you know you still have time it's it's very difficult hmm. and I think he also would have thrown you know the mindset of uh, Chanter away because he was counting with the one turn. He was thinking about the one turn. And if suddenly you give him more turns, his strategy is gonna change. You know because he, he's not expecting that. Yeah. Right, we've got to slam in this turn as contagious, haven't we? Because he's just done nothing. He's stood around the middle and he's given a really slow Amazon team acres of space like not even tight down the side. Like a lot of the times, Necro can squeeze you tight onto the side. And he's just given him like you know a nice foothold. This is really way too good a position for the Amazons to have had, I think. Yes, they are. Uh, yes, they have. Uh... Oh, here comes the first the uh, wolf blitz. Whoop! Whoop! Only a push. Ooh. And that's really bad. That was a. <laughs> oh, here comes the dodge. But I was really unlucky because it was a uh, a lot of dice, six dice. In total, to not get uh, anything even with tackle. Yeah. I I cannot believe that, that these odds are correct, Agrelius. <laughs> you know, I just I just can't believe those odds are correct. You need to add the word equity equity to the like, to your taxi rallies to make you know important. <laughs> Interesting, he's going back, isn't he? Like, I would have just hit this fucking wolf and stayed where I was. But he, he just wants to fight. He just wants to fight the, as somebody said, Invictus. Yeah, he just wants to fight. He just wants to fight the fleshies every turn. Like it's turn five. Just blitz the wolf and stay where you are. Isn't it? But he instead he rerolls, gets the power. Those, and... you know, those uh, fleshies doesn't have a tackle, so just put a son on them and they are nullified. Yeah, I would have. I would have definitely like. I guess now he gets... But, it... but mm. does this achieve anything? Mm. Because now you know there is going to be a... a fleshes on a total of uh, two fleshes covering five players at least. Mm. Yeah, I think this is a real bad turn. Last turn was great, having all of these guys up there, you know, quite far in, not, not tight on the sideline. It was a super good spot. And then now this looks a bit shit. <laughs> oh, here comes the blitz on the tackler, I guess. Mm. Yeah, t turn four, have it like the end of turn four, having all all of the. Oh, Puncho Div is yeah, here. The, the, the guy actually playing. Yeah. Don't watch the board. <laughs> yeah, don't watch the board. Already, don't watch the board. <laughs> Okay, so here we go again. Bangs down the goal. So do we go back up this side? Yeah, because then you get the guard for that hit, which is decent. Maybe should have blitzed the fleshy there. I don't think you need to blitz the fleshy. It already has two D. Yeah, but you need to power him, right? Oh yes, yes. Well, now, now the blitz is coming more. Eh? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I mean, but it would have blitzed, and it still would be the same result, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, but, but, it, but if you blitz him, then it just gives you an extra chance that you're not going to get because do you know what I mean. He had the move to get there after the blitz, I think. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, if you blitz him, you've got the guy there and you're screening. Yes. Like, you're screening with a blitz, so you can blitz no, no, him yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and right, and right. if you power him, you can still get there. So, like, it, it, 
it was I did quite like blitzing the first year just for an extra chance. This I is think fun. the one die versus the zombie was a mistake. Maybe because yeah. there was a one in six and fail, and instead of uh, having to use a roll, but you have dodge, you could have dodge away and moved, you know, and uh, closing the back door of the cage. Hmm. I think maybe just ending the turn is better because if you fail, yeah, dodge, but... don't do, do nothing. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, maybe it was worth dodging off. Yeah, maybe his dodge off is better. Just get more stuff upfield. Oh, this is this is something, isn't it? Don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> okay, things yeah, happening. Oh, there you go. There we go. That's good. Mm -hmm. Strength for a guard on the ball. Oh, doesn't go for the serve because it's turn seven. <laughs> Such restraint. <laughs> this guy's over here, though, which is terrible. This guy's stuck in the fleshy. Oh god, there's a dub skull. Oh god, this is horrible now. Out of re rolls, yeah. Now that what now that one day is looking terrible. Oh god, strength four ghoul and there's tackle wolves and it's like how on earth are you scoring now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, getting out under the square too. Okay, you get to hit there, but this could end very bad. Yeah. Okay, that was about. That was about as good as you could do, I guess. But, um, this is... This also, looks... you know, you, you can see there is a strength for a mighty blow tackle piece stuck on a golem there. Yes, yeah, this was real bad, wasn't it? This was a real bad exchange. Like, it's basically your best player. And this could have been a rookie, a rookie line or tagging him out. Um, hello, Zander. Uh, Chunter won the Chunter game. Um, so you're ruining the, the, you know, the our viewers. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> they'll have watched the Chunter game, but they, you know the Chunter game's going online before this. So, uh, all right then. And there you go, two dice on the ball uh, without uh, many complications. Yeah. Spoilers. Um, it was a good game. It was a good game. Worth a watch. It was a very interesting, it's a very fun game. I was uh, doing some work while uh, listening and watching it. That they had the the noises, the, the effects, the sound effects you want to hear on a game. <laughs> <laughs> Egypt, Egypt for the Egypt, for Egypt, Egypt. Today is Egypt for this one. Mm. So here we go. It looks like there's going to be a chance, doesn't there? Um... Looks like the, the space can be made. Oh, see, and you have a reroll there. So yeah, now, now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can just go with this one, can't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, you can go back. Oof, was that dodge really necessary? No, there's no need for that because you can just. Uh... Well, in you case you feel the, you fail the GFI and the scatter goes to the player and you manage to score it. And off! Wow. That Why, was... did I miss something? Maybe he's move busted? Was he move busted, that? Or it's a catcher, the one uh, waiting to oh, go to collect the catcher? ball. Yeah, Must okay. be the catcher. Yes, that's a 1 in 9 then instead of a 1 in 6 with the GFI, so well done. If it was a catcher. If it was a catcher. Was it just greed? Is, or was it just greed? Where, where is the catcher? No, it was just literal greed. Oh, then no, then I disagree. Okay. Okay, you thought you you hadn't enough move. Okay, 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 okay. No yeah. catcher, okay. Yeah, no, there was just one GFI, wasn't there? GFI yes, only one catch. GFI. Yeah, yeah, so it's just... Yeah, you only have another one. But yeah, so I would say it's a mistake because you have to fucking score. <laughs> um, but I guess, yes, you can't die in the GFI. You can't die in the GFI, so it's not strictly better. But, um, you know, it's pretty pretty much, I think it's safe to say it's a mistake. Yes, I think it's 100% a mistake there and a point choice here and yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
if it was a catcher or a player with catch or anything like that, it would be a very good uh, play. Yes, if it's, if it's a catcher, it's correct, and if it's an edge four, it's it's like 100% correct. If it's a catcher or an, or an edge player, isn't it? It's 100% the right play because you can't die, and it's better all the same odds. But it's not the worst uh, we have seen in Chalice. Let's remember the time that uh, which Ante preferred to do a serve <laughs> than a score and win the game. Yep, yep. My unforgettable one-turn defense versus Cruz. You know, like, it's easy It's easy to make mistakes, isn't it? Everybody does yes. it. Yes. <laughs> oh, Kevin Jordan. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think anyone's going to win Chalice with Amazons. But you never know. <laughs> you know, like, it's it's not bad, is it? There's, there's a bunch of guard on the team. And... You know, inducements. Like, anything can happen. Anything can happen in a football game. But it's but really, it, really hard to win with Amazon. A lot of things must happen in six games. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's so If there was less games, five games like in the past, or four games... Yeah. You it, know, they say, okay, there is a bigger chance. And if it was four games, I guess we'll see many more uh, agi teams winning because they still have players. Yeah, look at this. This is nice, isn't it? Oh, he got the pow, and he got the pow. He'd done that really, really well, using the block. Because he still had the blitz, didn't he? In fact, he wouldn't have needed the blitz. Oh, maybe this wasn't so good then. And then he would have, oh, then he would have pushed him forward, then he would have hit him there, and he would have had no dodges at all. Um, so maybe... I wonder if there was a way to, like, use the blitz... I guess if it was a 1 in 9, he could have blitzed and scored. Yeah. Well, Samich, things that have to happen nice for Amazon to win Chalice is Amazon's reach the final. Yeah. yeah. Let's, they, let's start with that. They, they just need, like, they need a really good, like, tournament draw, right? They, they need the Chorfs and the Dwarves to, like, go out somehow. They need to not face Dwarfs or Chorfs. Or get really time. fucking lucky if they do face them. Bullshit. And then. You can be mine. And then they just generally need to just get the right matchups, don't they? Like it's it's hard. The the biggest thing is getting the draw for the for the Amazons. Oh, hello, mm. David with the raid. How was your uh, stream? How's going the teams? Glorious, hello, David. And uh, I'll change the topic. Things that have to happen for Amazon stuff. It was bloody. It was bloody. David kiss. I can tell you the chanter game was bloody. It was very rowdy. Yeah, yeah, good game. But one team had uh, gutter runners, the other team had goblins. <laughs> yeah. that's, 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 you know, the resume, you know, the... <laughs> that, is, that is the critical, that seems that's the critical it. factor between the teams, doesn't it? Like... <laughs> yes, yes, that's, that, that, that's the thing, you know, it's like... And also Chanter was the rat coach, which he always adds an extra layer of hell to the game. <laughs> Yep, it was a nice one turn. He, he did, he did, he did the one turn You're about correctly. About to go on a holiday, and, but, um, and like you can't even fucking qualify. It was an exceptionally team, lucky rock that made it a lot easier. Rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Yeah, that made it so rats. much easier, didn't it? The, the the rock was kind of unbelievable how much difference that makes. I lord in action there. Mm. You, you can find out just looking at the dodges, right? Just literally, just yeah. the dodges. Um, and now I think right now, with Poncho having the wizard and uh, his uh, hand, he is more or less the favorite here. I'll give him a sixty percent, uh, a forty percent for the uh, necro, because Amazons are very good at the screening and just getting in the middle because all of them have, uh, most of them have blotch. Yeah. Oh, Murlock Joe is here with six friends. Glorious. Welcome, Murloc Joe. Hello. Murlocs, that, that brings me memories of my uh, World of Warcraft days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literal Murloc Joe. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and I, I never played Warcraft, but I played the, you know, the card game, whatever, whatever that's called. Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Yeah, I enjoyed Murlocs in that. <laughs> I 
It's interesting because like this is this is like yeah, it's not this one. I've been actually really does suck because like it, you know the, the move it and everything and like it got blood. It is a real killer, but like it's still a nice ne it's still a nice necro team. I still fancy them to get the job done and go to overtime. Cool, they have a lots of strength and tackle in the right uh, places. So yeah. Bearded fish face. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> That's not true, of course. Merlock Joy is a very handsome chap. Well, if you say so, we have to believe you. <laughs> he used to be—he used to be second best to Russell Orme, uh <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> But now, now nobody will remember Russ, probably. Very few people will remember Russ. It's been ages since he streamed. Well, he is streaming right now. He's coming here with a raid. No, Russ. Russ Lohm. Long, oh, okay, okay. long time since Russ Lohm streamed. He went to, uh, he went to, like, Ooh, college. Over up over there. Like it. Mmm, that's, yeah, very right. Poncho rowdy. putting all the eggs in this basket. Yeah, I mean, I guess if he gets the stop, he wins, doesn't he? So why not? Yes. He thinks he can stop the Necros. <laughs> fish face. <laughs> to be fair, fish face jaws are pretty. He's a pretty good name. Fish face jaws. I play so much World of Warcraft. And when you check the time played, you know, the actual time you have been playing, it was more than a year. Oh, God. And, and I and I stop. I stop around uh, Pandaria or something like that. So it's like five expansions or something like that. So I mean, five years or six years, I, <laughs> one year of my life was invested in a World of Warcraft. Regret absolutely nothing. I had a great time. <laughs> I even made a miniature a statue of my uh, character. It was a company doing 3D prints of the characters, Glorious. and I ordered the one. Glorious. <laughs> the only one who doesn't scare PCs, fish away. <laughs> oh, man. This is a... Oh, this is 2D, no 2D. Okay, no, he's doing that, and that's a 2D. Okay, yeah, yeah. God, I'm a dummy up. I wanted to hit this one. I wanted to hit this one. That's what I was trying. So I would have tried to set up the wolf hit there to you know try squeezing the sideline yeah. but i guess squeezing the sideline with strength four stand firm is also good so this is this is better and this is good from uh, good from contagious e yes and the amazons are in a lot of trouble here mm. oh the double skulls puts in the re-roll which is kind of interesting right because it's the last last action of the turn didn't have block yes it's and really Kekwadi, that Useful, you know. Uh, I mean, he has all rerolls. Mm. But like, you know, the the best the best case for Contagious E is getting to overtime, isn't it? He's one nil down, so so the best he can hope for is overtime. I wonder if that was worth it. Oof, that's a rough. Well, I guess a push would have been the same. Rough, rough. Because <laughs> it's not going away. So something was... Oh, this cool. This could be... Something could happen this turn, couldn't it? Yes, yes, there is a lot of uh, basic pieces there, and the wolf can surf. But he's the IG2, so... Yeah, that just goes for the one day out there. Again, yes, I wonder yes. if he could have put something in to make it a 2 and a 2, but he gets the 1D power. Or push, he needed. Look at this guy, oh, he must have been down. Could have geofied that one, 2D him. I think it's definitely worth GFI to get this 2D. Yes, maybe not now, but later in the turn. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that was a miss. Miss Stanfirm, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Yeah, like, I would have just wanted him to go further away to open up the gap to hit the ball. I wouldn't have even thought of fireballing these four. I would have, uh... I would have not stood firm. And then, you know, you could have just bolted and gone through the wall or something. Rather than fireballing. Interesting. Super interesting. Yep. And now... Lots of pressure here on the... Mm. Could have been that play instead of using it for the assist. Move down, you know, to put more, even more pressure on the ball. Yeah, it's tricky though, isn't it? Because he's at four, so he can scoot down the sideline, you know. The yeah, and you don't have tackle, so yeah, maybe that... But he just gets you playing in a very nice position. Yeah. But again, getting rid of that uh, wide will be massive. Yeah. Actually, the wide is more or less... Yes, he's very tight. <laughs> so he's going to blitz with him and move, up, move down the sideline. Oh, gets the cast. Huge. Hmm. I kind of like going here, but I guess there is the there is the wizard to be scared of. Maybe. I don't know. I like going across. I think that's just better, isn't it? One across, then him back. Yeah. I feel like that's just better. So do we see a fireball uh, here or a lightning bolt? No, yeah. I see the lightning, yes. yes. Really He's now beautiful. having that guard, the mighty blow, stand firm so close to the ball, makes it much better. Mm. Got a power. Got a power fleshy, though. <laughs> Pow's the fleshy. <laughs> Happy days. Doesn't put okay, pushes the wolf. Hello mad skills. Hello mad skills. Okay, here we go. I'm well, not picking up, not going for the pickup. Gonna try and defend this. Fleshy's tied up, isn't he? This guy's tied up because he's only edge two. So it's tricky for the neck rolls. Glorious stun oh, firm. Oh, glorious stun firm there. This is looking bad for the Necro now, isn't it? Yes, I mean, they have uh, they have used a lot of players and the ball is still under uh, Zon's control here. Mm. Two turns left. If only the Zons had an edge force, they could like reliably get the ball and like boot it away or something. Because now it's, how do they even... Like, they can't keep getting away with it, can they? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's only two yeah, of them yeah. on the ball and now they're going to get they're going to get hammered by Wolves. This is the out. time. This, this is the time now. I think is the time for yes, Poncho uh, to take big risks. Mm -hmm. This is that's nice because if he picks up the ball, opens the path to run away to the left side. Yeah, these are some good dice rolls, though, and they get needed both those powers. And still not going for the pickup or anything. Just keeping control of the pitch. Mm -hmm. And finally, a price has to be paid. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you can't reliably have Edge for it. Like, it's just, yeah, I mean, sucks, doesn't it? Like, you generally a... get one. You generally get one on Zons, right? You generally get one because, like, you roll a lot of skill ups, and it, you know, so you'll get one. And you'll keep it if you can, but you know, sometimes you don't. Do you? You'll often see, you often see teams without an Edge up in the playoffs, but 
they really kind of need it, I think, a lot. Yes, things with IE3 or something like that, that extra IE is a, a gift from the gods. Mm. Speaking of which, here is the Edge 4 with two hands ready to pick it up and, and be screened. And that's exactly what he does. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, it sucks obviously having the, the like the four plus pick up, but leaving the ball on the ground versus elves is uh, is never a good idea. Well, that's not true. It's always a dangerous <laughs> thing. Yes, it's a dangerous proposition. It's always dangerous. Yeah, it's always dangerous. And saving the rerolls for the overtime, I think that's a uh, wise. Mm. Okay, the Uraji 4 died a few minutes ago. So, yeah, okay. Ooh. Well, Toxophil will find another life <laughs> as a zombie. Mm. It's a two player swing, Cotton. And he goes in, doesn't make, doesn't make the blitz. I would have, I think I would have gone for a blitz. And I guess if you can't make it three, though, you really don't want to uh, use a reroll, do you, going in overtime? So I guess it is right just to score. Because the Zons probably aren't going to score a one turn. <laughs> Move six, edge three, just backline, don't you? Four yeah, players no, down. No, no need to take any risks here uh, with an echo, yes. Yeah, yeah, indeed, yeah, yeah, I think that's right. If you're not going to pick up the ball and foul the edge four, because that's. It's just really dangerous, isn't it, that he can just clear a tackle zone and then pick it up with the edge four. Okay, now he's doing the back line a little further because, yes. The Amazon school have reached for a blitz there. Yeah, no need to, no need to uh, take any chances. Like, move six, aren't they? There. They ain't one turning here. <laughs> Almost certainly ain't one turning, so probably whoever wins the toss wins, right? Because the Zons yeah. have only got nine players, but they, they could have nine, ten, or eleven for overtime. The and all will almost certainly have eleven. And all the good players of the Zons are still there. Yeah, every, everyone's still around. No, nobody's gone at all. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Um, but no one's gone for the Necro and. What a restraint there from uh, Gondayus, you know, the, you know, trying to blitz with a wolf or something like that. Yeah. There's, like, there's a fair bit of mighty blow on this. In fact, the Necro have ended with more players than they started with, because they've got the, they got the kill, didn't they? So they've actually, the Necro yes. have got more than they started with. Well, that's a good question. Yep, he has put he has put the zombie he has put the new zombie on the OS. Yep. Yes, exactly. Classic. There you go. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Much better in tabletop when you can put the actual miniature. <laughs> the zombie. <laughs> the zombie. So here we go. Who's gonna win? Both back, 11 v 11. Game on. The undead, not the undead, the necro will win the toss. <coughs> Boy, howdy. Well, that's looking real bad, isn't it? Because they don't need to stall anymore, so they can uh, they can punch through with a move eight, ball carry, well, move seven, ball carry, because they'll carry on this game, won't they? So, move seven, blodger. And two move seven blodges and a move two move eight blodges. This is uh, a lot easier than the than the eight turn stall. Yes, isn't it? being able to score I think turn. now uh, Poncho has to pray for a uh, bad rolls from uh, Contagious. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because like the 
if the Zons had won the toss, you, I think you'd, you'd obviously still fancy in the score, but they still move six, right? So they still got to like do quite a slow score anyway. Yes, they, Whereas, they, 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 getting the two turns is very complicated. Yeah. They're gonna need three turns to do it, you know, in a, at least three to do it in more or less safe way. Yeah, whereas the, the Necro can just randomly get get up close and then it's really hard to defend against them. Maybe you could have defended better against a Blitz, which we get. Because <laughs> oh. I wasn't really looking. Uh, I guess it's okay because you're having the stand firm here covering this, and he's also got another gap to, behind it anyway. So it's actually it's actually pretty decent versus a blitz, isn't it? Plus, like zones are only move six. Like if this was a Skaven team, this would have been uh, this would have been horrific, wouldn't it? But there will be gutter runners under the ball. Yeah, yeah, there'd be a gutter in a cage, <laughs> a caged gutter on. The, and yeah, so this would have been horrendous. But I guess yeah, zones are so slow that it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's still bad. <laughs> it's still fucking bad. It's not what you want, is it? No. No, no, and now he is taking the risk doing the GFIs. I think this is the right uh, play. This is your chance you can be conservative here. Yeah. Let's see where the ball goes. So it's, it's back, but I mean, he can't. There is not a. Uh... Yeah. Very good. I mean, he can catch in the middle, but he's going to be surrounded by uh, Sons. Yeah, I mean, how, like you can't get in the middle, could you? You'd have to pass it. You'd have to pass it to the wolf or something. Like it's, it's a long way to go, isn't it? Three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. Maybe you should have blitzed with a white. Because oh, okay, he uses him for the second assist. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's really nice. That was a really, I, like, I really like that play from uh, Contagious E. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> Do you just dodge the songs, away? The Suns have a dodge away from a one dice on the ball. Yeah, I wonder if he should have dodged the wolf. Like I know it, I know it sucks that he's, it's a one in four to fail, but I wonder if it was worth just trying to get him, you know, get him relevant. I feel like it would have been. Yeah, this is just a dodge for the tackle two D, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, here we go. <laughs> and there's the pow. And there is the pow. Oh god, then, then there's a 4 3 out. Potentially. Oh! Goes for that one. And the, the, the ghoul's still alive, isn't he? So. This could be. Really bad. Yep. Yep, this is really bad. <laughs> Oof. Get the surf. Kind of sucks because you, I mean, you know, you've got to go for that move, and, but then uh, what can you do here? But yeah, exactly, Invictus here. Yeah. Give and take, isn't it? I do, I do, I did like dodging this guy. Now, now of course, can block him through. with a lucky oh. power on the stand firmer. <laughs> yes, and uh, getting a uh, rid of a lot of zones this time. Yeah, this, uh, the chance of zones winning chalices <laughs> is evaporating before our eyes. <laughs> Not that there was a chance, as Dimmy well knows. <laughs> Zons will never win Chalice is getting confirmed as we speak. Necro are really good, aren't they? They're like really good at, at like against the kind of crap teams. You know, like the <laughs> the like, you know, humans and zons and stuff, they're really good against them. 
And then yes. they're, they're like pretty decent against the edge teams and like Skaven and stuff because they've got the, the fast wolves that like you know can deal with their fast players and stuff. And then against against like the heavy bash teams, they can just randomly dice them with some claw mighty of their own and uh, and fouls and like obviously regen. So like they're a fucking really good team. Oh, for like chalice format especially. Yes, Be I saw uh, Negro. Negro has a very high sailing uh, when it comes to his, uh, sailing. When it comes to you know uh, TV, they can go very high on TV and still be a very good team. Yeah, because yeah. they have so many positionals that it's okay. Yeah, they got a lot of positions. And like they don't, they don't have like you know the ultimate power of like you know a, a chaos team, you know, or an Urkel team, but. They 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 are really good. Like they they've got the speed and everything. Like they're better. Against, I think they're better for Chalice than Chaos on Nurgle, just because they've got like you know, they've got that speed and the frenzy and that. Too. They have the speed. They have some uh, levels of strength. They have Clomite. Well, they can get Clomite and all that. This is horrible. Ooh. Yeah, just take the power now because you've, you've used your reroll. I like that. Conservatism. Eight songs. It's really hard for them now, isn't it? And like they're such good front runners as well, like Necro, you know, like once once you're up players, it's just disgusting because now you can set up the frenzy hits like easily and you just keep frenzying them and like fouling them and stuff and it just it just gets really horrible against Necro. Yeah. No, no, they have all the things. They have the cheap uh, Linos to give them a dirty player. And they can have, what? Ten uh, positionals. Four ghouls, two fleshes, two wolves. Oh. And two whites. They're like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> yeah, they're a super good, they are a super good team. Just never really enjoy using them that much. <laughs> I don't, and I don't really know why. I don't know. I don't know why it is. But... But yeah, but I, I, I just, I don't know, I just don't like the, the play style, I guess. I don't have 50 years to level the fleshes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can problem. win challenge without fleshes. Someone did a few, a few seasons ago. There you go. Like, it's, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Like, they're just a weird team, I think, I don't know. I feel like I should like them, but I just don't. I know they're good. Like, well, I mean, I know Skaven are good, but at least I know, and at least I know why I don't like Skaven. You know, like I know why I don't like Skaven. I don't really know why I don't like Necro. Fifty SPP on a flesh is generally fatal. <laughs> yeah, like they, <coughs> <coughs> they only need sixteen, don't they? Like, yes. obviously, it's better if you get. A you know, three skills, but you only need block and guard. You only need, like, guard. You only, like, you know, if you look at Davos' team, he was only about 1700. Like, he only had, like, block guard on the fleshies and guard on the, uh, on the whites. It's pretty much all you need. Because you are doing all the heavy work with the wolves anyway, so it is. Yeah. They're just a they're just a disgusting dice rolly team. Everyone. You know, like I kind of don't care if the odds are in my favour. I just don't like rolling the dice, if you see what I mean. Yes. Also the wolves are disgusting and everybody hates them. <laughs> and maybe, maybe that's what it is with the necro to an extent, right? Like they're they're a bit dicey in that they're players that they've got that are really good. If they lose them, they're they're kind of up shit creep. Aren't they? I 
bit. Here we go, and the cage is done, and... I think uh, Boncho now is in the area of Hero Place. I don't, I don't know what that hero play is going to be. <laughs> I think it's going to be a kid's die if I'm pretty. Yep, a 1D looking for a 6. No. And I think that's it. Yeah. Negro can score from there. Uh... I think they, they're not going to GFI. They're not going to risk GFIs, are they? I think they'll just... Uh... Maybe the fleshy blitzers to get both walls back. Is is oh yeah okay you can blitz him yeah yeah right that works that works better <laughs> I don't know why I guess I thought I was gonna block with him but I guess you don't want to block with a blockless fleshy do you with two walls. And I guess this hit as well. I guess this was a prime example of why Zones will never win Chalice. <laughs> but if they'd won the toss in overtime, I reckon they would have won, you know. Yeah, um, I, I, I agree, I agree. And I think he, he had more uh, daring to try to pick up the ball in the second half. Mm -hmm. He could have won in regular time. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a dodgy one, wasn't it? It was a really dodgy yeah, one. Once something's happened, it's much easier to take the view, like, you know, as a casual observer, it's much easier to be like, oh, well, this didn't work, so it was wrong, or this worked, so it was right, and stuff. So it, it is hard to say which... If it yeah, and also, at the end of the day, he also has a better team than yours. Yeah. Yeah, the, the zones were down like a wizard and a babe, so it was 200 TV down. Well, and that was a... Uh... Mm. A dead and of absolutely unnecessary block that got the double skulls. <laughs> yep. And could have been, you know, a comedy moment. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> but so much had to go wrong for them to, to lose there that, you know, I guess that was... It just wasn't going to go that wrong, was it? But there you go. That's, Zon's confirmed not winning Chalice now. That is... That is both Zon teams out that aren't mine are already out, and of course I've got PC's Dwarf, so I'm almost certainly going out as well in the first round. So they got a, yeah. a great tournament for Amazons. <laughs> um, congratulations, Contagious E, commiserations, Poncho, DLV. Thank you very much. Uh, it's not DLV, is it? It is DLV, okay, good. Um, <laughs> and thank you very much, Fine. Absolutely glorious as always. As always, to be a pleasure to be here and uh, time to say goodbye to our viewers in Egypt. This game, but come back for the next game. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.